Hi YouTubers, it's George working in the garage. Let me just clear some room. <coughs> Excuse me. What I'm doing is I'm reusing some old bits and the intention is is to make an aerial for the 70 centimeter band for use on the local repeater. Now the local repeater is very close to where I live so I don't need much of an aerial and the intention is is to reuse this here this this is the active dipole from my um, scrap material 11 element aerial I think it was and rather than throw this bit away I've kept it and I've also got this plastic electrical junction box I can't remember where I got it from or why I bought it but what the intention is is to put this little aerial into that box so it's waterproof and then mount this outside yeah that's the plan and just use it for the local repeater only and I've got a little um, radio here which I can just dedicate it just for use on the local repeater. So that means my white stick aerial on the garage I can use for VHF use. So that's the plan. So I'm going to find a way of fitting it in here. And I think the best way of doing it is is to well remove the lid, disconnect one of those slide it in there which I think it'll go and the other one I can put in there and then solder the wires on and then block the tubes up somehow so the um, the water doesn't run in the end of the tubes inside and uh, yeah whether it'll work I don't know well it's gone into the box okay so far I'll bring it out in the natural light so you can see it. So that's it there. And then what I'm going to do, this side's glued. I'll actually have to unglue that side. So I'll put some double glue on there. And then I'm going to put some silicon down inside the tube so that no water can run in there. And these have got glands on the outside. So that do not look too bad actually. For a bit of a bot. Let's put it back in. I'm going to put the glue in and I'm going to put the electrical connections on. So this is the um, aerial. The cable clamp for the bottom is um, one of these nylocks. The dipoles are now soldered to the coax. Yeah that's okay. How I adjust the SWR, I've got these are adjusters for brake cables on push bikes. And I, I don't know where I got them from, I just had a bunch of them, I think I was given them. And they can be threaded in and out of the copper tube. And then the cap goes on, like that. And then this is the, uh, the dipole um, for the 77s band for the local repeater and uh, I'll SWI on just that frequency we transmit and receive more on the transmit and um, yeah then I'll be finding somewhere to put it might be on just a scrap bit of wood and screwed outside and uh, I'll SWI it on the nano VNA and um, I'll put power in it and then we'll give it a test but I've got to be a bit careful because this glue is quite flammable so I don't want any sparking in there well what I've done I've screwed it to the beam just there for the time being and the cable runs down here on the floor up here up here to the nano VNA and at the input frequency of the repeater which I believe it's 438425 at 
1089 which is there and the receive is 430 so let's see where the receive is 430 8250 1.8 to 1 but that doesn't matter it's just receive so I'll connect it up to a transceiver and see what it does okay let's give it a try shall we Golf 1 Bravo Kilo India this is Golf 1 Bravo Kilo India check and access and listening for any calls fully quietening let's go that'll do that'll do nicely and uh, that will get mounted outside but I think that's a success I'm not happy this thing about all day what more of these have we got broadcasting out we have temporarily linked Fred's brain to George but when we switch on George may reject Fred's brain which is the crisis point we started 100 volts